Hey everybody, welcome to the Jeff Lewis Trumpet Podcast, Episode 5. This is the Jeff Lewis Trumpet Show with your host, Jeff Lewis, where we talk about music, jazz, and all things related to the trumpet. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today's episode is about busted chops and what you can do to help remedy that situation. And when I say chops, I mean your embouchure, your lips, what you use to play the trumpet, and it happens to everyone. So it could mean a bunch of different things. It could mean maybe you had a very difficult gig and you were you had the horn on your face the whole night or afternoon or what may have you, and you were playing really hard or maybe you had a bunch of high notes or something, and then you you got chopped. My, my students call it chopped. So your lips get swollen, maybe to the point where you're maybe pressing a little bit extra in order to get through the gig or hit those high notes or do what you have to do. And then it's a snowball effect. Your lips get more swollen, you get more tired, and then you get more stiff. You get to the point where you're not getting any response. Maybe you split your lip, hopefully not, but it happens. You split your lip, your teeth get loose, and uh, uh, kind of all trumpet hell breaks loose. And then you wake up the next morning, you go to warm up, and nothing. Airball city, zip. And you're thinking, hmm, well, I got a gig, or maybe I just want to have practice today, and I'm not getting any sound, or it hurts even. And I just wanted to give you a couple of tips to help with that. I am no stranger to busted chops. And one of the things that set this last episode off is I had brought the entire San Jose State Jazz, uh, Latin Jazz Ensemble to Cuba, about 16 members, and we went for 10 days, and it was awesome. And uh, by the way, there's a, a trumpet player named Yasik Manzana there. He's like the Wynton Marcellus of Cuba. In fact, when Wynton was there, I don't know, 10 years ago, he had uh, listened to Yasik, met Yasik, and uh, invited him to Juilliard to study under his tutelage for free. And so that was pretty awesome. But Yas Yasik's uh, awesome. Anyway. Getting back to my story, uh, we were in Cuba for 10 days. I didn't have a lot of chances to practice and keep my chops in shape. Uh, I mean, I tried some stuff here and there and um, in a practice mute because I didn't want to disturb anybody in the hotel. And I had like three back-to-back -back really tough gigs, you know, the next day after I landed and I knew it was going to be tough, so I tried to keep my chops in shape, but was not very successful. And so what happened was I played the first gig, got through it, the second gig, and by the third gig, I was pretty, I was pretty fried. And I ended up pressing really hard. My lip got really swollen. And sometimes I get these cold sores, these nasty cold sores. And um, other than taking medication, there's not a whole lot you can do for cold sores. So it was a combination of things, yeah, playing too hard, playing too high for long periods of time, pressing really hard because I was out of shape. So here's a couple of tips what you can do when this happens. I don't always follow my own advice, um, but when I do, things are usually better. And the first one is, and these, these seem, may seem like Captain Obvious, but the first one is take time off. So maybe you've actually injured yourself and the tissue of your embouchure and you actually need to rest. So getting a lot of sleep, obviously not playing the horn for a day or a two or a week. I know a guy that had to take six months off and, and that helped him. Number two, ice. And uh, obviously, I'm, I'm no doctor. This is my disclaimer. So check with your doctor um, about good icing times. But they say 20 minutes out of an hour. And I don't apply the ice directly to my chops. I uh, 
I'll put it in like a, a washcloth or something and then put on my chops. And then sometimes I'll wet the, the, the washcloth and then it'll be nice and cold. Um, so that helps with the swelling. Two, ibuprofen. Once again, check with your doctor. I feel like I have to do these dis disclaimers because everybody else does. So there you go. And that, and that helps with swelling too. So I take um, some ibuprofen. And then the last thing, which is, is what you want to do immediately after the gig, and that is do some warm downs. And some good warm downs are pedal tones. I have an actual pedal tone warm up on my website at jefflewistrumpet.com. It's free. Check it out. Uh, I believe it's in the beginning book section at jefflewistrumpet.com. It's just basically arpeggios descending, uh, major arpeggios de descending from tuning C down to low C, down to double pedal C. And you can always extend that range as well. In addition to your warm down using pedal tones, some people like to play really, really soft. So I would suggest playing maybe the Clark's exercise number one, starting from the very beginning and maybe just doing the first page and doing it at double piano, really, really soft to see if you can get your response back into your chops. Or even take exercise one and do it really, really slow. It's chromatic down a tritone. So you start on C, which is the first exercise. Um, or actually, does it start on F sharp? I should know this after 40 years. At any rate, you, um, you, you, you play it really, really slow. And I think it's written in eighth notes or 16th notes or whatever. And you're going to want to, um, and you're going to, and you're going to want to do it like maybe in quarter notes, just really slow. C, B, B flat, A, et cetera, et cetera. And then come back, at, come back up. And do it really, really slow. And do it really, really soft. So let's review the four tips. Number one, time off. Number two, ice. Number three, ibuprofen. And number four, a warm down immediately following the gig. Hopefully those tips help and I hope you never have to go through a big downswing. You know, one more thing about downswings is that I don't know if it's if if it's because I get I'm getting older or what, but there's also biorhythms that your body goes through. You have good playing days and bad playing days and average playing days and it's just something we deal with as you guys know and it's something I guess you have to just accept but this is actually injured chops and I hope these tips help you and I want you to come check out my website at jefflewistrumpet.com I got a bunch of other things there that uh, are free playing exercises. I've got duets, trios, some jazz tutorials, and what may have you. And also to check out my YouTube series at Jeff Lewis Trumpet. Once again, thank you for listening, and we will catch you in the next podcast. Thanks for listening to the Jeff Lewis Trumpet Podcast at www.jefflewistrumpet.com.